Uh, let's drill in here and let's find these drop zones. So many components, not all components, many components in PeopleSoft applications have drop zones. Now, uh, this is this is Palm 35 and HR. It is the absolute latest Palm that's available today. I went through and I did an analysis to see how many pages have drop zones and how many don't. Well, it was an easy analysis. See, every single page that has a drop zone has this PTERC subpage stub. View definition. Edit, find definition references. There you go. I now have a list of every single page delivered by Oracle with a drop zone. It says there are 568 references. You know how many fluid pages there are in PeopleSoft? Well, there are more than that. But if you look at the suffix here, flu, flu, SBF, SCF, basically, oh, pretty much every single one of these is fluid. Now, as of 858, Drop zones are available for classic. Here, here's the here's the story. Uh, drop zones appeared in 857 for fluid only. Why? Because when you start injecting content into a page, you're actually changing the shape of the page. You're changing the content. You're changing the component buffer for that matter. You're changing the page design. Fluid, remember? It reflows to fit the content. Works out awesome. What about classic? Ooh, pixel perfect. You're starting to move things on me. That doesn't work out so well. So in Classic, you'll find the drop zones as of 858 at the bottom of Classic pages because it allows them to push content. Oh, wait, there's nothing to push. It works out great. They just extend to the end of the page. It's awesome. Now, 857 gave us the capability for drop zones in Fluid. But you and I, there's no value in drop zones for us in 857 until the applications start adding drop zones to their pages. See, the whole idea of drop zones is you and I can insert content or inject content into an Oracle delivered page at runtime. We use design time configuration, but the runtime, but the injection happens at runtime. So rather than you and I opening application designer and putting another field on the side there, for example, the bank account name on the side of the Oracle delivered field, we instead say, okay, where are the drop zones? Okay, those are our injection points. So it's, we, ha we, we have to rely on Oracle to deliver those injection points. So it's a question, a common question that came out with 857. Can I use drop zones today? The answer is yes, and the answer is no. The answer is yes, you can use drop zones today. But you have to create the drop zone, which means you have to modify the Oracle delivered page, which doesn't make any sense because that's the whole point of drop zones. So for us to truly benefit from drop zones, to avoid, avoid customizations, to convert it into a configuration, we have to rely on Oracle. Now, Oracle went through fluid pages in HR and financials, and they littered those pages with drop zones. I mean littered those pages with drop zones. When we look at this component, this, this um, direct deposit component, which you can see has one page in it, it has around a dozen drop zones total for this one component that has one primary page. That's wild. A dozen drop zones. Like I said, they littered them with drop zones. That's awesome for you and I because drop zones are invisible. They're just layout only group boxes that have no form shape. Actually, they're, um, they, they use embedded related content is the, is the, um, the group box type, but basically it's invisible. That's awesome for you and I. You and I get to configure them. Okay, now what about classic? This is why I'm talking about this. See, once you get to pump 35, hey, pretty much every fluid page has a drop zone. You're awesome. Uh, well, not, yeah, pretty much. What about classic? Oh, you know, I went through and I think I found only about two or three classic pages with drop zones in HR. I haven't looked at financials yet. Again, this is POM 35, 858, 85804. 858 is relatively recent on premise. You know, it's been in the cloud for, oh goodness, since December, I think. So eight months. Um, coming up on a year since 858 released, then, aren't we? Uh, but what I'm mentioning there, the reason I'm saying that is because even though drop zones are here and they're available for classic, you may not be able to use them yet in classic. At least you won't derive any benefit from them in classic. Now, the couple that I found, one of them that I found was the location tuple. You know, set up HRMS, common definitions, what is it, organization? 
Location table. Now tell me, how many times have you considered customizing the location table page? <laughs> oh no, you were thinking job data, personal information, modify a person, those pages? I didn't find any drop zones on those. That was my first thought. That's where I want a drop zone. Some of those heavy hitters, some of the most commonly used pages. Hmm. Stay tuned. Maybe those are to come. Anyway, for you and I to be able to leverage a drop zone, we need to know what pages have drop zones. So I can see a list here. And you know, I was thinking about it because this is all metadata, isn't it? Couldn't we just combine some SQL? I haven't done it yet. But my thought was, Oracle has these delivered pages they're touching. You and I do a compare and report and we find all of the pages that have changed that we've modified, which means we have customizations. Wouldn't it be cool to get a report to say, hey, these are all the pages you've customized that can include drop zones that maybe perhaps you could be taking advantage of drop zones. Could we do that? Absolutely. It's just SQL. Just write the SQL. Starting from a project definition and working through the attributes to find all of the items in the project. Definitely, we could do that. Uh, anyways, uh, moving on here with drop zone. So I can see that there's a drop zone here, and I can see there is a drop zone at the bottom of the page. So DZ top of page and DZ bottom of the page. That's actually incredibly common. Uh, there's a reason for that. Most drop zones that you'll find will be at level zero. There's a reason for that as well. Although drop zones can exist anywhere. 